Hello, my beautiful artists. Today, we are going to learn about Keith Haring. He was an American pop art and graffiti artist. He was born in 1958 in the city of Reading, Pennsylvania. He was very interested in art since he was a little boy, producing very creative drawings. In 1978, he went to study to the School of Visual Arts in New York. He became famous for his graffiti art in subways, where he created white chalk drawings on a black and used advertising backboard in the subway stations. He considered the subways to be his laboratory, a place where he could experiment and create his artwork and saw the black advertising paper as a free space and the perfect place to draw. Remember that graffiti, that is drawing and or painting in public places without permission, it's illegal. Okay, it's something that you cannot do. So, of course, Keith Haring got arrested several times for doing this. At the beginning of the 1980s, his artworks became very, very popular around the world. He made many exhibitions and public graffiti mural, but this time it was with permission, so it was legal. Every city wanted to have a real piece of Keith Haring. He created his own artistic language using different symbols and images. Let's look at some of his art pieces. Isn't it a very unique style? Let's see some of his art style characteristics. In first place, we can see that he uses very bright, powerful, vibrant colors, mainly primary colors, but some secondary colors as well. In second place, we can see how mainly he uses bodies, simple bodies. As you can see, they don't have details. They don't have eyes, nose, fingers, mouth. They are very simple. But still, you can tell they're human bodies. In third place, you can see how he uses very bold, thick black lines to outline those figures. And last, but not least, we can appreciate a sense of movement, like those figures are dancing, moving, walking. Those are the four main characteristics of Keith Haring's art style. Take a look at this painting. How can we tell that this art piece was made by Keith Haring and not by any other artists? Well, first of all, we can see that the three figures are in very vibrant colors, okay? Then we can check that they are outlined with a very black and bold line. The bodies have no significant details. We can appreciate the head, legs and arms, but we cannot see any eyes, mouths, fingers. And last, there is movement. Those three people are dancing, jumping. That is created by those other lines that are outside of the figures. Isn't it cool? Let's check some of his art pieces. Keith Haring art pieces often included political and social messages, things that really concerned him, like AIDS, war. You can see in this picture a graffiti he made in Barcelona about stopping AIDS. From 1982 to 1989, he was featuring more than 100 solo and group exhibitions and produced more than 50 public artworks in dozens of charities, hospitals, daycare centers, and orphanages. Sadly, Herring died on February 16, 1990 of an AIDS-related complication. Thankfully, today we can still enjoy his beautiful, creative, powerful, and energetic artworks. Are you ready to create a Keith Haring-inspired art piece? Let's get started! 
Okay, you're gonna need a white piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, some markers, and crayons. Whatever coloring material you have at home actually works. We're gonna follow the main characteristics we saw of Keith Haring art pieces. Bright colors, bold lines, human bodies with not much detail, and movement. I'm gonna start by drawing a stick figure, okay? I'm not gonna focus very much on the details. I'm just gonna make it with some cool position, okay? I'm just making the lines for the arms, the torso, and the legs. Here I'm making one feet, and then I'm gonna make the other leg, like if it was jumping, maybe? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna outline those lines that I just made. Remember, we don't want details in here. Okay, we just want a simple, bold body. In the torso, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker, but the rest I'm just gonna make less than a centimeter outline from the stick figure I just made. Now I'm gonna create another figure. I'm gonna do the exact same process. A stick human in a dancing position. I first draw a circle for the head and then the arms, just two lines. After that, I'm gonna draw another line for the torso and the legs. Try to draw this part kind of light, okay? Because we're gonna erase it afterwards. Once I have the stick figure done, I'm gonna go and outline it. Making sure I leave some space in the torso, but the rest I'm just gonna go right next to the lines I just After I color each body, I'm gonna add those movement lines. Just like three or four small lines on some edges of the body to so it looks like they are like dancing, jumping, having fun.
Now I'm going to paint the ground or the floor. I'm using this green, but you can choose any other color you want. Just remember, it has to be very bright. And I am also going to add some patterns, just as Keith Haring sometimes did. Remember, a pattern is a line or a shape that we paint in a repeated way. And for the background, I'm going to use some yellow. Instead of using a marker, I'm going to use this crayon. I'm just going to go very slow. Remember, we're not in a hurry. We want this to look very nice. We don't want any white spaces. We just want to make very small circles and go all over the background. And ta-da! Here we have our Keith Haring inspired art piece. Isn't it cool? Don't forget to sign your name as the artist you truly are. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and I cannot wait to see you. Love you all!